All right, guys, it's me Natsu here, and today we're taking a look at STR Cooler versus Red Zone Omega Shenron. I think this could be potentially the best Red Zone stage you could perform in, in terms of the difficult ones, uh, the, like the high-end ones. Maybe, yeah, probably this guy, right? Because you can debuff him in the first phase. And the big thing about that is he does get an additional attack that has a 30% chance of bringing a super if he does end up getting the additional uh, attack and defense debuff off, which is very, very good. He does debuff on his super attack effect, but there's this link here. I think it's this one. Strongest clan in space. When activated, it does a lower enemy's defense by 10%. So you can get a start of turn very easily like that if you don't have another unit who already lowered the a cool uh, Omega Shenron's attack like that, right? So we're going to go ahead and get this with you. I'm actually going to get this and debuff you. I'm considering healing here so I can get super attacks with him going and freeze off, but I can't really get supers with him. I really do want to for his passive though, but we should be okay. We should be fine, right? We're going to push him off rotation, get him with the other metal cooler. We're running the 200% Wicked Blood 9 team right here. And he's getting his nice 6 million attack stat. So he was at about 230k defense. Uh, no, 260k defense there. My apologies. Okay, two additional normals. That sucks really badly. We do kind of want to stall here. I think that's probably going to be best case scenario if we try to stall through this specific pipe. So we can get as many stacks as possible on cooler, right? We want to get... I mean, ideally we would have gotten like a triple super stack here. And that would have been really insane, but... We will probably have, I think, one more turn to get that. So that's going to be ideal. It's going to be pretty good if we do are able to get that somehow. And this guy's ceiling and stuff will actually come in to help with that, funny enough. So we'll see exactly how this works. It sucks. So Golden Frieza does have debuffing on his super attacks. So him getting sealed is not ideal. Oh, ceiling him is perfect. Okay. I think I will... Yeah, we'll get this with you. Um, I'll get this with you. I'll push cooler off, I think. And then obviously we get this. Okay. Uh, the reason I push cooler off is because against the physical, not the physical base, the STR base will take a lot of damage. So that's not going to end up well. <laughs> if he does take like 100k normals off the STR base, so we kind of want to protect him. At the very least, let's have him on rotation with the STR cooler so we can get that 50% juicy support. Which he does provide to transformation boost category allies. Unfortunately, the metal coolers are not a transformation boost. So that's just really stupid that they're not on transformation boost. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I understand why, but he should be on transformation boost. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so we're looking good here. Uh, what's our defense here? 378k. Again, ideally we get the triple super and we're looking good. Uh, I would love to get that triple super right there. Let's see what we're looking like here. Um, don't debuff me either. That would be nice. Cooler does also, again, lower his attack and defense. I said that earlier, but if we get like a triple super lowering at this guy's attack and defense, like this team, this like absolutely destroys Omega. Okay, there's the additional. We got a super attack off. Nice. Give me one more super here, and then I'll be really happy, actually. Oh, this is normal. Darn, okay. That's fine. So that's three super attacks here. Oh, we did get debuffs. That's not the worst thing because since it's stacked defense we have too, right? But it's annoying. Oh, double digits. Yeah, we lowered this guy's attack too much. <laughs> that's actually really funny to see that. Okay. I mean, that's really good. Uh, it's not really entirely him, right? We just debuffed this guy to oblivion, but that's still very impressive no matter what. Okay. Probably just going to do this, right? I mean, yeah. Both of these guys are free dupes, so we'll get this with you. Doesn't matter the super attacks we get because both of the supers only raise defense by 30% for metal coolers. If they die, we just simply revive. So that's cool. Oh, we're getting super right here. So we should be good, actually. And then Golden Freeze is going to get us full attack past him, actually. Very helpful. This guy definitely does a lot of damage uh, once he has his full passive up. And, uh, he does get the extra support from Cooler, though, which is very nice. But we're not going to really have them on a rotation together. Dude, this damage you get, this this AGL LR Cooler is absolutely insane. Like, they did a really good job with this guy. He's such an important unit on this team. Like, Global, when you guys get him, 
it's a nine day difference i feel like with this team having that alargo and Fruza being able to really help in slot one like that is super impressive okay so now you're fully built up you know cooler 55 percent taking only 48k from this guy's normals that's not bad and we're gonna heal at the end of turn too look at all that healing we got okay we're gonna have this here Ooh, i kind of want to do this though for the linkage for you um uh, i kind of have to well not really i'll do this because if this guy gets supered anyways we're just dead so i'll just make sure we protect slot one look at that with you and let's hope we should be okay here i mean as long as sin doesn't instantly super right we can no longer again lower his defense so yeah that's the lowest attacks that i've seen with this cooler so far 5.9 that's definitely not like anything special uh yeah you just keep getting normals i mean at this point we just kind of keep stacking and stacking with this guy how much do you take from this i'm interested 400k that's pretty good <laughs> with no extra support 400k is really strong i like this guy a lot he's he's just been super impressing me does cooler take 300k at the end <laughs> i wouldn't be actually be surprised without links you might really take 300k at the end if we die i'll just hop back in here right it doesn't matter but yeah that thing i should have probably no because Esther cooler right here would have taken that same damage it would have just been the same thing no we're alive we can get the rev actually obviously um not that i really care about getting it we'll get that with you again it has to be specifically this guy that dies we should be okay so i'll get this and then i'll grab this yeah golden frieza actually i should have used golden frieza's active that would have been sick actually using his active skill here it wouldn't have done a lot of damage but actually it would have activated my extra defense if i use the active skill because i believe it does count as a super attack right since we're under 50 percent here he also did have you know a lower amount of his passive i probably should have had this guy die honestly really thinking about it because um if we die at the end then obviously we're just kind of we're de de definitely dead if we die at the end, obviously, because we can't get the revive on anyone else but Metal Cooler. This guy's not going to be able to tank a super attack. I don't think he would survive a super. So that was probably a misplay on my end. Unless he just doesn't super, no. Okay, I'll hop back in here and we'll actually get the... Yeah, I should have had him die. Whatever. We'll get back to Int Omega and see how he does. We have him first turn here, which is really good. So I'll show off this first turn. I'll just show with the rotations I have them on, I guess. That shouldn't be an issue. I'll get this, whatever. Let's start stacking this guy's attack. And his defense starting off again is 260k. We don't have any other support units besides the... Uh, his name just has came my mind. Kuliza, right? Yeah, Kuliza. Uh, by the way, I'm recording this like 3 a.m. After this, I'm going to sleep. But I want to get this content out for you. I, dude, everyone's excited for Cooler. I am excited for Cooler so bad. And uh, he's just been looking pretty good. Considering, again, you have to view him as a support unit. This guy in his base format as a support unit, having, what, he tanked Sin Shinran Super Attack. Uh, I took him against Broly. He took Broly normal attacks. He tanked Cell Max normal attacks. Like, this guy is incredible. You definitely want to check out those other showcases. He's just very straightforward in his base form just kind of stack with them and right here we can get triple stacks which we got a double super right here very nice give me that triple super and again he's debuffing in each super attack he does right here he's a super batter on menace probably too yeah look at that if, if we get another triple super that's gonna be actually wild you might just straight up transform this guy instantly as soon as he reaches turn six it's probably what i'm gonna do i guess it'll be turn seven for this guy because he is on the first rotation. Turn 7 is a long time ago. Long time away. Goodness. Okay. Um, Since we're good here. Let me skip ahead. And you know I realize. On that turn. Esther Cooler was also debuffed. When he took the STR Sin Super for 400k. He was debuffed. Oh my goodness. This guy is incre incredible. 
So it's at 500k events turn three, which is uh, very, very powerful for sure. We'll get that with you. And let's get this here with Metal Cooler. He's debuffed, so even if he does super me, he's not really going to do damage, I'm assuming. Ideally, he doesn't debuff me himself, right? But okay, I think we're good. Especially if we do get a triple super. We get another three stacks. Like how he literally just over doubled his defense, which is absurd, right? Uh, one more? No, okay. So we have four stacks so far, which is obviously very good. So I'll skip ahead again until we get to S Sin. Oh, I three dodged that. Let's go. My goat. So we're not debuffed because we dodged, I believe. We're at 640k defense with 30% support here. So, I mean, could I stack him enough defense to tank Omega Super? Probably not. But that'd be pretty funny to think about. <laughs> for sure. Uh, how much does it take this for? What is this going to do? 330k, yeah, again. That's just very, very good. Um, This cooler, this, I, the more I use him. Especially, again, this event is where he's going to really shine because he can debuff the first phase. So he's able to really, really pull through with that. This guy, 10 million free dupe. Absurd. And then he can get the additional super attacks. Wait, look. Uh, there's the normal. There's another normal. He, st he was even fully built up. Look at that. And then there's the guaranteed additional, I think. So, yeah. um, He has a big effect to the rest of the team because of his support, too. 50% is a gigantic number. Like, I'm sorry how huge that number actually is. Okay, um, I'll skip ahead and then we'll again get back to Esther Cooler. That's also a really cool active. Uh, I could transform. I might get one more stack. Yeah, I'm gonna go for one more defense stack and then we're good here. I'll get this with you and then we'll get this with you. And you should be fine. I mean, yeah. What, 650k already? So we're gonna be at over 700k. Once we get that final stack right there, which is quite good. I mean, I could also double super and get even more. So <laughs> I, dude, this SDR cooler is so fun. And then especially what he does to the rest of the team. Yeah, double super. Well, he's, is it gonna be near 800K now? Come on. <laughs> Great. Now the only issue is if physical cooler at the end gets supered, we're just dead. But, I mean, let's hope not. I could have actually probably used the active scale over this guy. Oh, we're good. No, he's definitely dead. <laughs> we're just going to keep it rolling from here, and that should be fine. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys are thinking of him. He is quite stupid. We're going to transform him. I guess you could, I could have ideally gone some attack stacks with him right there, but that's fine. Um, I could use this. Let's use it. Why not? It's also a really cool active skill. Nice. I will get this with you. I'll grab these. No, I can grab this. No, I'll just grab these. And then I should get a super with you still, right? Yeah, perfect. You will take damage, but we should be good still, obviously. Golden Frieza will take probably some damage, I think. Yeah, 90k is more than I thought. Uh, but he super attacks and gets defense. I guess his full... No, his full defense pass was built up, right? I guess what it was is his full, um, what's the word? His full damage reduction is gone, so he's only at 30%. That makes sense. No, no, he does get support here. 30%. Yeah, he's taking double digits now. Obviously, this dude is not taking damage. We're going to have one of the countdowns on the last attack, I think. I'm pretty sure one of the countdowns are on the last attack. 
Okay, we're doing a ton of damage. Can we chill, actually? Actually, <laughs> it's fine if we kill next turn, but I do want to see Transform Cooler. He's, he did so much damage this turn. What? That's insane. This guy's not taking 500k <laughs> damage. No way. Yeah, it's, no, it's not possible. All right. Um, I could use this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to say that. 800k defense. Uh, it's crazy. Okay. So now when we do transform, we do lose the support passive. Which, you know, you can clearly tell in the numbers it's lost. But look at that. He jumps up to 870k. Let's see what attack stats he's going to hit here. I We're definitely going to kill before then, by the way. So it's a pretty clean on him run. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. I'm double digits. Oh my goodness. I'm so shocked. 6.5 million with no support. He's not critting here because, again, we're not against a pure hybrid sane. But he could super four times, right? There's the second additional. There's the third additional hit of potential. No, you did not get that. All right. I mean... <laughs> that could be four 6.5 million attack stats. This guy is still hitting a 10 million attack stat. And he's going to guarantee an additional super. And then the cooler at the end is going to like also hit like a uh, probably like a 6 million attack stat. I like got also 55% right, but still. Yeah, look at this guy. He could have, he could survive. Uh, could he survive an Omega super? Probably not. But I think at 55%, if he gets all supers, he could actually survive a Broly super attack. Which, in that case, he might be able to survive a Mega one too, but... I mean, that's the power that that easy A cooler does give to the LR. And it's easily one of the best rotations in the game. I would say this guy is... Definitely, I feel like he is definitely the best. I said definitely twice. He's the best easy A TR in my opinion. Future Gohan could probably tank better early no not even even early because if we get this guy enough stacks now i think i would say this future go on could tank super attacks better once you know in their max situations but cooler just provides the extra support he has a much better leader skill as well there's a lot this guy is doing and i really like him so let me know what you guys think about cooler thank you all for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out